You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eminem is nice with it, man. That nigga's an alien. That motherfucker Eminem guy, he got he got balls, man. Definitely balls, got balls. 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 Niggas can't front on M. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing with M is that, you know, he don't spit no hood shit about the struggle, about, you know, him and his mans and them getting together or making something out of nothing and, you know, you know, you know, the typical hood struggle shit, you know what I'm saying, coming up, hustling and shit like that. He he be talking more about taking drugs. <laughs> <laughs> then he talk about moving drugs, you know what I'm saying, you know. But other than that, man, Thun is nice, man. What up, Bomb it? <laughs> what up, what up, man? What up? Bomb it on the show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What up, boss? What up, man? What's wow. going on? I don't know, man. Y'all niggas yeah, living up, man. What up? Yeah, we finished playing that Conway and Eminem joint called Bang. And, you know, we were going to discuss Eminem's uh, placement position with Dan Hip Hop. Like, where you guys rank him at? Uh, ain't nobody messing with him. I mean, he ain't he, the he, GOAT. He, he, <laughs> no, he he's not the GOAT. GOAT. He ain't the no, worst. he ain't the GOAT, but, but he's the, you know... Ain't nobody messing with his numbers or nothing like that, you know? It just depends on who but, you ask. You know what I'm saying? Because you got different levels of this shit. You got motherfuckers from back in the days like me. I can't I can't put them up there because I know too many other ill motherfuckers that came up. Then you got motherfuckers that's, you know, younger than me. The motherfuckers might put them up there because, you know, they're around his age, you know. Then you got the dudes underneath them guys. And they might say he's the GOAT because <laughs> they that's just might what that's all they know. So you know, it's all about who you ask, man. But done is solid. He did his thing. He made his contribution to the game. You know, he bought us fifty, he bought us, you know, uh D twelve. You know, so he he made his contribution to the game and uh he bought us Royce, he bought us a lot of niggas, man. He 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 bought he made his contribution, man, so shouts out to Shady, man. Yeah, he definitely, uh, you know, he in a class of his own, you know, when it comes to to rapping, you know. Just like, yeah, you see, know, he, Rakim he is in a class he, I think of his he get own, more slack. you know. I think, he get, I think he get a lot of slack because of his fans, you know what I'm saying, because them niggas be on some bullshit, like, oh, nobody's better than him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, what about Hey, what about no, this, not, y'all? What about like, these comments y'all hear? He's in the and they top be saying, 10. What about these comments he's, he's, these people be saying, some of his fans be saying, what they be saying? If Eminem, when he drop an album, these other rappers go out to work at McDonald's. Nah, man, you know, that's just, that's, that's they, just you know, talk, his man. Stand, his, his fans go overboard with it. I think that's what brushes off on him. But for the most part, man, he's one of the most wicked to ever do it. I mean, he's in yeah, the top yeah, ten, time, you know. Yeah, he's in man. the top he's ten. Dangerous. Definitely rep Detroit. Yeah, he definitely put it down. Like Who I said, you know, he's Detroit in the top. Right and some of the cre- and huh? not to mention the creativity he brought to the mix. Like I ain't never heard somebody write a song called "Stand" before. I mean, it's just uh, his perspective on things, you know, just just being, you know, thinking out the box, not giving you what everybody I else. That, I think I think he made up that whole term "stand," if I'm correct. "Stand" wasn't a but, real word. "Stand" didn't was, mean anything uh, that I know of. Yeah, I don't know. Just, it was just based off I, the song, you know? Yes, he did. <laughs> so she made up a whole fucking word that means something. <laughs> Out of a name. <laughs> Somebody's name, Stan. Now that shit actually means something. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, with Nas and Ether. Now Ether has like a new meaning towards it now. That's how dope hip hop is. It takes ordinary yeah. terminology and, and puts some, a deeper meaning into it. Now, anytime you hear that term, you reflect to that. 
Hip hop always yeah. did that shit, man. How you think that motherfucker like a little Nas X even exists? Because hip hop is that ill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If hip hop were ill like yeah. that, it wouldn't be all this other kind of crazy hip hop. You got the trap, you got boom bap, you got drill, you got all kinds of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's because people took hip hop and just made their own shit out of it. That's what hip hop is, man. Making your own shit up, my nigga. Making your own shit up, man, and going with it. But you got to have the elements involved. You can't just make up your own shit and not have the elements. <laughs> you know, or just something else now. You know, and we all know yeah. what the elements are. What? Yeah, plus, not to definitely mention. True. That's definitely also, true. what I like about M, M also, he shows respect to the cast by him, like Master Ace and Tretch and Red Man and all those guys that pioneered his style. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can definitely yeah, he hear always, the influences. Uh, you know, he came up under. You know, running around with uh, um, and what's their name? They from Jersey. The outsiders. You know, the outsiders. Yeah, the outsiders. He came up running around with them. You know, he had a joint with Shabam Sadiq on a Rockets album. You know, before Eminem. He always was been around Eminem. spitters. Yeah. He always been around spitters, man. And he always been. Yeah, he's dope. You know, he always been he's dope. Cyphers. We don't take nothing away from him. He's dope. You know what I'm saying? It's just that his fans are a little bit too crazy. Yeah, me personally, you know, he's in, he's, he's definitely in the top ten, you know? There's definitely a lot of artists out there nice, too, you know? See, no, I can't put him in the top ten. He's like top motherfucking 20. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, he's top. Yeah, 20. when you're going through, you're going generation wise, you know, I'd say top 10, you know. I, I just can't put him in top 10. It's just too many other dope motherfuckers, you know. You know, it's about his yeah, content too, you know, what he rap about. Like, like I tell you, you know, he don't say no hood shit. He'll say a lot of tongue twisting dope rhymes and shit, but he don't say no, you know, he don't say nah, no but hood he's shit. Nah, about his white. His, his, you know, white, white hillbilly living in the trailer park. You know, he always talk about that. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's up. his struggle. That's his struggle. That's what I'm saying. You know, yeah. I, I can't relate to that. You know, but that, that's his struggle. So that's that's his gangster. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, take nothing away from the man. Well, He's man. dope. They shot- 